So we've made some changes. We decided that we are going to review every single place that we stay. So sometimes we'll just pass through a place and we stay a night or two and we don't usually review. However, we decided to do more RV reviews or RV park reviews. Yeah, you know, I think it's helpful. For anybody passing through. Yeah, you know, I think it's helpful that way. You know, if you're on the road and you just need that one night stay, you can say, oh, hey, you know, I heard of this place. Let's, let's check it out and you know what you're kind of getting into. It starts here, guys. It starts here. Whoa. <laughs> Hookups. 50, 30, 110, breaker here. Water and sewer. Downfall on the sewer though is how the concrete is pitched right here. Screw in your 90. It's not fun, but other than that, at least they're not all oblong. I've been ran over 75 times. Each site <laughs> is equipped. Another thing I really like about this place is they have trash service. So if you have garbage, you just place it in front of your rig or somewhere in the front area and they'll come by and pick it up. Thank you for that because I hate going to the dumpster. It's gross. So every place has its ups and its downs. What would you say is your least favorite place about Freaking train track right there. You don't even gotta finish that. So you do hear the trains all day, all night. It is a main line. They're not that bad when you're you're inside, but that is like my my number one. Ugh. Why is it gotta be a train? Right? There is a highway up here too. You really don't hear the road noise from that though. But as a park in whole, it's it's quiet. Everybody's just hanging out. Oh yeah. You know, watch watching TV and stuff and yeah. you know, no belligerent people yeah, running when, around. When we say quiet, that's what we mean. It's yeah. The people in the park is the most calm place I think we've been so far. Right, I can deal with traffic noise and stuff, but I hate yeah. people blaring music, just causing a ruckus and being inconsiderate of people that have been traveling all day, just want to eat and get some sleep. Or the kids running and screaming. Yeah, like 11 o'clock at night, you hear kids screaming, so, running down the road. This place is so peaceful. It is, and everybody here has been really nice. Yeah, we just made some friends. As you can see in the, the drone footage, you can see how close the railroad tracks are. And also, uh, you got a good amount of space between spots, and uh, it's, it's kept up. You don't have yeah. that trailer that's been here for 14 years that looks like they, you know, just the inside of it threw up to the outside. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, they keep it very well maintained. Kudos to you. This in here is closed because of COVID, but there's a small workout area and they have a pool table in the back. Here's the pool area. And do you know what that is? Well, we'll tell you what that is. That's chairlift. That's what we've been searching for all along. They are 100% ADA compliant. Yay! On their pool. And every bathrooms. Everything else. Yep, the bathrooms ADA compliant. The pool ADA compliant. The walkways are to get into the, the main area in here for check-in and where all their little stuff is. ADA compliant. The roads are well-packed gravel. Wheelchairs should get through. A little bit of difficulty in a couple of loose stone parts where they filled in the, for the potholes. But other than that, you can get through. No problem. Good job! Woo! Another thing that we look for around campgrounds, or at least like and enjoy, is one, a place to get food like restaurants and stuff like that there's lots of options around here you could walk there but it's, you walk. it's fast food <laughs> for the most part um, the second thing is groceries we found a 
delicious grocery store. So our campground has a pretty decent sized doggy park. Check it out. What else was really awesome and has never been done before, well for us anyway, until this campground is the lady, I think her name is Karen, she was wonderful. And she opened up our water spout so that all of the nastiness could get out. So in case you forget, which apparently that happens. She also made sure the cap came off the sewer because everybody knows how those get stuck. And she also checked the electric box to make sure everything was working before we hooked up. This place is great. So, final thoughts. I would definitely stay here again, and I would 100% recommend it. Yeah, if you're on your way to Mammoth Cave, or if you're going to Mammoth Cave. Or if you're going through. Again, 100% handicap accessible. So if you are in a wheelchair or have some type of disability, you are safe to stay here. Yeah. And dog park's pretty <laughs> nice too. Like yeah. Skippy likes dog park. Yeah. Dog park has, basically checks all the blocks. It does. <laughs> so that's our recommendation. If you're driving through, stay. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> all right, so if you guys like this video, make sure you hit a big thumbs up. And don't forget to press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and press that bell so you get notified each time we do an RV park review. And share. Sharing's caring. Share it with your friends, guys. Everybody wants to see us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, catch you next time. Bye.